partnership with the Chinese Cultural Center, has organized a two-day workshop for journalists covering diplomatic beats in Abuja. The workshop, which was held on July 18 to 19, aimed at empowering journalists with skills and knowledge of diplomatic reportage for efficiency in diplomatic reporting in Algeria. Clevis correspondent was there and tells us more. Convenia of the workshop, Raphael Oni, on the first day of the workshop, challenged journalists to observe professionalism and ethics in their reporting. Also speaking at the event, Ambassador Bolaji Akinrami, who is the main speaker, emphasized the importance of responsible journalism in diplomatic reporting. Other stakeholders identified several challenges facing diplomatic reporting in Algeria, including access to accurate and timely information from diplomatic sources. We have a lot of competing uh, development and reasons, interest, that may, more, may make you to want to tilt things in a particular way. But I know that <laughs> ultimately, if you have it a goal that whatever you stand for will be for public good, you will eventually reap it. In, in today's digital age, we are constantly bombarded with information, and it is becoming increasingly challenging to separate facts from fiction. As such, I want to emphasize the importance of fact checking and verification in our work. We must be vigilant, don't get caught in the web of fake story or propaganda. Our credi credibility and integrity as journalists are at stake. It's our responsibility to uphold the highest standard of ethics and professionalism. Now, Nigeria has become China's biggest contract market, the third largest trading partner, and the major investment destination in Africa. Enhancing diplomatic reporting in Nigeria requires a concerted effort for journalists, media organizations, and stakeholders by investing in training, building strong network, utilizing technology, maintaining ethical standards, ensuring safety of journalists. We can significantly improve the quality of diplomatic reporting. This, in turn, will contribute to a more informed public and a more transparent and accountable international. On the second day of the event, journalists visited the CCECC office in Abuja where they were received by the management and taken on a tour of the facility. Journalists were also lectured on the company's operations and contributions to Nigeria's developments. Thereafter, they proceeded to the Mexican embassy and were received by the ambassador and other officials. The embassy officials took journalists on another lecture session, focusing on Mexico-Nigerian relations, trade and cultural exchange. All different regions. Uh, of course, we have plenty of natural resources. We are 130 million inhabitants. Uh, the labor capacity that we have is very important. And you can, you can see this is important, the central location for connecting global supply, supply chains. Journalists, have, journalists are now participating in diplomatic activities, procedures, and influencing foreign policy formulations more regularly and intensively. The media does not exist in a vacuum. The media in any country is a reflection of the socio-political situation of that country. If that country is a democracy, the media in that country will be a democracy. The stakeholders emphasize the importance of effective diplomatic reporting and the role of journalists in promoting Nigeria's image abroad. The workshop is supported by the Nigerian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and other stakeholders. Also present at the event was the Director General of the Voice of Nigeria, who emphasized the importance of effective diplomatic reporting in today's increasingly interconnected world. Representative Wale Oke, chairman of the House Committee on Foreign Affairs, pledged the lawmakers' support for diplomatic correspondence, noting that communication is crucial in the diplomatic environment. Florence Joshua reporting for Clairview News Dex.